Hey JFAM, so before I get into this video, I might sound really weird. I actually just got braces. I got Invisalign on my teeth. So if I sound like kind of different than normal, that would be why. And I'm feeling a little, little self-conscious about it. So I was like, might as well just put that out there for the internet world to judge me for. I am getting ready to return to van life. So during the winter I needed to be back in school, but now summer is fast approaching and I have big plans. So the big plan is I am going to be van lifing with a mystery guest who is not my boyfriend, so you guys can take guesses on who you think it's gonna be, but we're going to be going to Canada and van lifing all through Canada. I have never been to Canada, at least at an age that I can remember. We're gonna do some backpacking, we're gonna do some climbing. <laughs> We're gonna do all the cool things. I'm really, really excited, but I currently am feeling really, really burdened with stuff right now. When I came back to living in an apartment after living in my van for so long and got all my old clothes back and all those kind of things, I just realized how much of it was so excessive and unnecessary. And now that I'm going to be living in my van again, I'm realizing I need to get rid of a crap ton of clothes. So my goal today, is to go through this closet of clothes. I'm going to basically start organizing my closet and I figured I'd take you guys along. I have this entire thing of scarves. I don't need these. So from the show Tidying Up, the main woman from the show, I'll put her name on the screen, she basically said it's important to thank your clothes before you give them away. Don't throw them on the floor like they were a piece of trash. They served you well, they helped you fulfill a purpose at one point in your life. So I want to say thank you to these scarves. This dress was given to me, but it doesn't fit, so I wanna to give to somebody that it will fit. So I really like this flannel, but I realized I have another flannel that I like better. So if I have the option, I'm always gonna wear the one that I like better over the one that I like a little bit less. There's no reason for me to keep this one. Thank you. I used to love this shirt, but it doesn't spark joy in me anymore. I'm trying to decide if I keep this or get rid of this because I think it's cute, but do I ever actually go out and wear this? The answer is probably no. So many of these things I think are cute, but I don't wear and I'm so conflicted. Like this, I love this, but I haven't worn it in so long. But this one I actually bought new and I never buy anything new. I buy like everything at garage sales and stuff, so I actually feel like I want to keep this one. Same with this, I think this is cute. I used to love this pineapple shirt. I've had this for so long and I never had a time where I felt like I could wear it. It has a Play-Doh's closet tag on it. Five dollars. <laughs> so hopefully I can sell it back to them. all these cute little sleeveless cardigans and I don't wear any of them anymore. I used to love the shirt but now it just makes me think that it looks like I have wings when I wear it and that's not what I need. So I'm gonna keep this one. It says freedom is a full tank in an empty road. I think I'd wear it if I crop it, like if I cut it and then maybe like cut the sleeves too, but I've never really worn it just as a t-shirt. I'm definitely keeping my cardinal shirt, always. Definitely gonna keep my Dress J merch. That was from my first van life excursion to California. have these Christmas sweaters and I'm all for ugly Christmas sweaters but I don't need to be wearing the same ugly Christmas sweaters every single year. More ugly Christmas sweaters. I have two of these and I don't need two, I just need one.
Okay, so these are the clothes I decided to keep, and this side of the closet is pretty much empty. And by the way, a lot of this is like pretty much empty. This thing isn't very full, but I will go through all of that in a second. And the majority of this is onesies. I'm not even kidding. I have this onesie addiction, and when I van life, I don't bring any onesies with me, but if I'm not van lifing, I love onesies. So I couldn't get rid of those. They all sparked a joy in me just because I love them. Oh, this though, I forgot to put over here. I need to show you guys the hangers. Oh my gosh. I think I've got enough of those for maybe like five, 10 lifetimes. Now it is time to face the pink chest, which usually holds a lot of stuff that I'm already not wearing very often. So I have a feeling I'm probably gonna get rid of a lot of what's in here. I'm just gonna go ahead and catch up with you guys after I'm done with this. Hey guys, so it is actually the next morning. I got exhausted last night and I fell asleep, but I went ahead and finished this morning. All I have in this trunk now is some pajamas, some holiday socks, I did pretty good. And this is the pile of clothes that I'm going to be donating and I'm probably gonna hang up all the hangers again. I'm really, really blessed to have that much extra in my closet and now I'm going to head to Play-Doh's closet and I'm gonna see just how much they're willing to pay me. So I'll see you guys there, but I'm probably gonna be filming on my phone and have it kind of like hidden, so we'll see how that turns out. Okay, so actually we ended up having to do an all pass. The reason why was just because they were kids' items, items we don't take, and then we're in discoloration. Okay. So I'm really sorry that you had to wait all that time. It's okay, um, it's okay. Well, that was slightly disheartening. They took nothing. They don't think my clothes are cute. And I didn't either, that's why I got rid of them. But I wanted them to give me money. Anyway, subscribe.